My dog had stopped eating and drinking over the weekend, so, concerned, I took him to the vet on Monday. The vet said they needed to hospitalise him to find out what was wrong with him. This would cost a thousand pounds overnight, and that's just to get started. I said, I can't afford that, so she said, we'll have to euthanise him then. Shocked, I took my dog back home and consulted my friend, who's a pharmacist turned naturopath. He reassured me that it's normal for animals to fast when they are poorly, and that they do this in order to detox and recover. He asked me a lot of questions about Coco's diet in particular. He said that the fatty meat from steaks we had been giving him lately might have caused pancreatitis and he now needed to detox which is why he was not eating. He recommended rehydrating fluid to keep him hydrated and to help him retain minerals and to help decongest the pancreas he advised milk thistle and dandelion root which I applied with a syringe in his mouth with an added smoothie of stinging nettles to give his digestive system a boost. I did this four times a day, every day for a week, and there was little improvement, so I was beginning to give up. So I rang the naturopath again, and he reassured me that sometimes animals can take longer than a week fasting. Coco is an old dog, so he also said that if he was coming to the end of life, he would find a corner and lie there. Only if he was wailing and suffering should I consider euthanasia. Otherwise, he advised me to give him time and TLC, which I continued to do. And on day 10, Coco made a miraculous recovery. Hey, Coco, ready, steady, go. I went back to the vets to show them uh, Coco's state. Um, the vet could hardly believe it. Well, you know, I'm happy to stand corrected, but the dog mm. that I saw was severely dehydrated, mm. se severely icteric, so severely jaundiced, and incredibly poorly. So mm. I absolutely stand by personally mm. what I said. Mm. I think mm. you've been very lucky that this dog well, was I, made I believe we make our luck. I, I, yeah, sure. I chose to contact, get a second opinion and, you know, because he said that otherwise I'm making my dog suffer. So I, I was feeling really guilty to make my dog suffer. But and the naturopath said, no, he's not suffering. He's very chill and he needs to detox. Let him be. If he wails and whimps, then we have another scenario, he said. So, to and be honest, dogs don't tend anything. to cry and whimp when they're in pain. They tend to but be quiet, they does. don't eat, they tend to lay in their bed more and be lethargic. So, that's what we are taught as vets. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's what you're taught as vets. That's interesting. That's okay. interesting. That's what you're taught as vets. Sometimes it might be worth questioning what you're taught. Yeah? Because you that's might be. It's a bit be bigger taught, conversation. Yeah, it? it's a bigger conversation, okay. especially after COVID, the pandemic. Full of beans. Ready? Go, go. Ready? Steady? Go! The dog she had told me to euthanize or hospitalize for a thousand quid was now back to his former self. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like a dog to euthanize, just yet. And all for less than 20 quid and a lot of TLC. If your story resonates with ours, we'd like to hear as we are putting together a documentary. So please put it in the comments and please do subscribe for more. Thank you. Hi, yes, it was just a call, um, just an, about an outstanding balance. Um, 
um, from your last visit on the 20th of November. Um, so I've just got a £45 balance outstanding. Am I OK to take that now? Well, when I visited last time, it was to let her know that I saw a naturopath who gave me some herbs and the dog healed. I think it's outrageous that I was put like between the sword and the wall. Either I pay a thousand pounds or I kill my dog. I'm surprised you want me to pay for that. Right, no worries. So, but you did come in and you, you had an appointment with the vet? I came in to inform her that using dandelion root and milk thistle cured the dog and I didn't have to spend a thousand pounds or kill him. Yeah, right. So you made the appointment to come in and, and tell the vet that, right? Yeah, w wouldn't you have? Right, okay. So what am I the best to do then? Obviously, if it is a complaint, um, I will get my manager to give you a ring back, okay? Is this the best number for her to reach you on? Yes, I'm available now, but then later in the day I'm going to a funeral. Not of my yeah. dog, thank God. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I'll let her know that. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you, bye-bye.